But we're going to start off with this, though, bro. So this video is about playback. She hates white people. Except her white boyfriend. Let's go ahead and see what we got with this right here, bro. So you're just not going to share? Will you be the anonymous share? What? This isn't like full shade towards you. I just She looked like she date white niggas. It's joints like this that be looking dirty. Like, no bullshit, bro. It's crazy about black women, right? If they, the dirtier they look, they definitely probably date white niggas. Like, when they look like this and they be dirty. I mean, when they look like this, then they be looking dirty. And then the, the most feminine, as far as, like, definitely dark skin, the most feminine ones. It's, it's always either the dirty looking ones, you know what I'm saying? Because they're going to be fucking with them hippie ass white niggas that's going to accept that bullshit. Or it's going to be the most feminine, beautiful black one. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's like, it's no in between though. It's never in between. It's never an in between. Clementine, tell me I'm lying though. Tell me if I'm lying though. It's never an in between. Okay, Queef, can I gotta go hit the gym? How long is this stream queef? gonna be? Nigga, can you please stop calling me Queef Porn? Yo, uh, nigga, it's gonna be long, bruh. Typical black feelings. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Yo, y'all niggas gotta chill, bruh. Y'all gotta chill. They go for the free spirit, black women. It's free spirit? There you go. Because they gonna accept the whole shit. Oh, you're just a free spirit? You just a hoe. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna trick me with that free wow, spirit bullshit. Wow, was really frying chicken all this time and didn't share with really, DSGL or Sonso the Quaffer. Mm -hmm. What? Yo, no, nigga, that was not, that was baked chicken. You know what I'm saying? I, I, that was oven baked chicken. Like, you know what I'm I, nigga, I don't, I ain't fry anything. But yeah, man, what the hell? Bruh, it's always these type though. This nigga black or ninja, really? I ain't even gonna say what you said, bro. I ain't even gonna say it. Uh, Bruh said, nah, I, I only ever got opportunity to date the ratchets. I didn't get the beautiful ones. Hey, bruh. Was, was they dirty, though, Brick? Keep it a band. see a lot of comments like this, and this was the most recent one, so I'm just responding. To I don't blame you for not trusting white people. I'm white, and I don't even trust other white this people. One. When white people say shit like this, it isn't the serve they think it is. Like, you're a part of the problem. Fix your people. I can't, like, bro, I hate even looking at bitches. Like, I'm not going to hold you. Like, yo, be yourself and all, but I hate the whole septum and all the other piercings and then the low hair, like Dennis Rodman and shit. Like, come on, yo. Bro. Like, I don't I, I don't know. Say yo, look, everybody themselves, but look, say what you want. But I like looking at girls that look like girls. I look, it is what it is. Like I said, live your life, be you. I like looking at girls that look like girls. Look like regular ass, not regular, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like nice long hair and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Well put together. You know what I'm saying? Feminine looking. Not with all all these extra ass piercings and shit like that. Just make yourself look like a normal. I I like the normal looking women like this all this extra shit white people are like i'm white and white people do suck yeah you're probably a part of those said i don't get why white people do that i well i can i do get it because we black and i'm the first nigga to say i hate niggas i'll be the first to say it but it's different though like white people be trying to blame other white people for like racism and shit I don't, oh yeah, well, I don't fuck with white people. That ain't going to get you any black points. I ain't inviting you to my cookout for you to bring over some some uh, fucking uh, broccoli casserole. Fuck I look like. That ain't going to get you in the cookout. Shut up. That ain't working. You, don't be, don't be, see, even Brick Pickle just say because we're trash. Like, wash your fucking legs. Nah, bro, white, all, all white people ain't like that. You feel me? Not all white people What's like good that. What's good fellow Negroids? What we on tonight? You getting here called niggas Negroids. <laughs> Yo, I'll tell you this. What, what, nigga? Negroids, bro? White people also do. Nigga said raisin ma mayo potato salad. Yeah, you, oh, you too deep in them, in the white trenches, Tamron. To, for you to even know that? Something about it. The fuck? Also, I hate when white people try to validate me. Like, they're literally like, I'm white, white but I agree. Bro, I don't know if you noticed, but I don't need validation from white people. Like, that's the last thing I need in my life. So the title already said, except for white BF. But you need validation from your white ass boyfriend. Like, I feel like white people always try, but they miss. Like, and I feel bad for y'all. Not that bad, though, because your ancestors suck and you're stinky and evil. But. But you're dating one. It's always a dumb bit. You see why I say bitches are dumb? Like, no bullshit. Like, look. Hey, look. Women, I love y'all. But I hate bitches. Just like I love black people. But I hate niggas. 
Bro, like, this is what I be making. There's no way y'all could be this fucking stupid. Bad enough. I love being I black. Call you out. See, my nigga Brick even said, nah, for I love being white and having all a uh, race of friends. The jokes are crucial as fuck. I bet it is, bro. I know, the, you know what I'm saying? Even saying nigga behind closed doors is probably crucial as fuck, too. You feel me? Because I know I'd be letting it rip, nigga. If I was white, nigga, it'd be Beyblade, nigga, letting it rip, nigga, nigga, all the time, bro. And tell you not to leave comments like this because it's crusty. Anyways, for all the wow. bleach demons willing to learn. A, a bleach demon, yet you have I a know white I boyfriend. Can't talk because what the I hell is she like talking me, about? But Caleb City has me rolling with this one. The nigga called her Caleb City. <laughs> I ain't even like, but nigga, what? Why did you call her Caleb City? I see you. You're not as bad as the rest. What the fuck, bro? I like that's why I don't really take too much sociology classes. Like that's literally the that's the end product right there. She is. I feel bad for her because there's no way she's happy with her life. She can't be literally happy. none. This like, literally, deserves a chance. I don't none. even know if she knows what happiness is. She can't. It's just literally misery, not. more victimhood. It's crazy the nigga low wearing the the, uh, the notorious Big baby shirt and it's like he grew into being a nigga. You feel like low 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 gotta lose some weight, bro. He has to. Just just I feel bad for people like this. Because if it looked like he got a haircut. It looked like he got a haircut. And it's like, this shit still looks terrible. I know y'all gonna say again, like, oh, you trying to cook low every time. I'm never trying to cook low. I really be trying to look out for the nigga. Playing it up really nice, bro. Yeah. Playing it up real good. My God. Because if I was there, I'd be like, yo, bro, I got I got the barber, bro. I got the barber for you. He do, Clementine. He does. You could tell because of the mustache. Clementine, this nigga mustache be all over the place. You could tell he got a haircut. Plus, he usually have all of the shit, like, all in front of the hairline and shit. Now, you know what would be ironic? As much as she hates, as she called them, bleach demons, right? Mm -hmm. As much as she despise. Oh, never mind. No, oh, my God. It's white people because they're stinky, right? And crusty sometimes. And also because of their ancestors. Mm -hmm. they, the ancestors sucked. Ancestors just stuck, man. They sucked it up, man. The irony of it all. It's a nigga in the chat that look like Lil right now. Low got pussy and cheated on it. With more pussy. Why are you not getting pussy? She's just obeying her master. Why are you not getting pussy? Ask yourself that right now. Because it's a nigga in here that look worse than low. I mean, not, it's, a, it's a nigga in here that low look worse than that ain't getting pussy. Why? And some of y'all niggas, they ain't even fat like him. You ain't, you don't, like, like, you actually got this nigga beat. You just ain't got more money than them. What's stopping you? From getting pussy. You really got to ask yourself this, bro. Like, uh, nigga, nigga, of course, of course, you're going to try to sit there and um, you know, 14, uh, 100 going to say low, low ass clout and money. You think bitches are looking at low like, damn, you got money. D look at the way low dress. You think bitches are over there, like, say, for instance, with agent, agent don't flex either. I don't think bitches is looking at agent like you got money, even though this nigga is rich as hell, because they don't flex it. You're going to look at Kai. And say he got money. You're going to look at Duke and say he got money. You're going to look at Phantom and say he got money. You ain't even going to look at Davis and say he got money because Davis don't flex. Y'all y'all still hungry? You couldn't, you couldn't throw the bones away. Y'all couldn't, couldn't have wiped your hands off or nothing? I did. He, like, do you see your hands? I told him to do it. Bro. Bro. Look, look at your hand. Now, now I gotta. Now I gotta have chicken on my. It hands. was my wrist that was holding that. Cause I was holding it like this. I told you to wash your hands off. I hate y'all. I no, I'm, I love y'all. I'm sorry. I didn't know y'all heard that. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I ain't, I ain't mean to say it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Three more should be fine for now. That's good. Hmm? That's good. That's good? Where's the N words? <laughs> I got it. Just grab your plate, my little daughter. I'll take this upstairs. Yo, yo, city boy Diz J, thank you for the two months, bro. Yo, thank you. Thank you.
Oh my god, bro, this sucks, bro. Do you not realize I made these wings so I could have dinner for them for two days, so I didn't have to cook them dinner tomorrow, bro? I haven't cooked for them in so long. They are crushing these, bro. This is it. That's left. There's three brown sugar wings left. See, I knew you were frying chicken. And six of these, six old bay wings, bro. I was trying to make them dinner for two nights. I think I made them like 30 wings. I don't even know. Like they, nah, they cr They love my food. They love my cooking, bro. If I'd have made baked macaroni, it'd have been gone. The only reason why I wouldn't have been is so it didn't mess up their stomachs. Let me go put this upstairs. I'll be right back. Juan was trying to distribute accordingly to make sure he had enough to devour later. W oh, meat keeping. Blasted Jim said he went off screen to eat the wings. Bro, did you not believe me or something when I told y'all, like, bro, you saw how much I ate earlier? <sighs> like, bro, you think I'm hungry after all of that? If I am hungry, all I got to do is cook me some more broccoli. I can eat a whole bunch of broccoli. <clears throat> that, Like, bro, I'm trying to tell y'all, look, I have, for the rest of this day, I'm good with my macros. Nigga, 235 grams of protein. I'm perfectly fine. I don't need anything else. But if I wanted to, if I'm actually hungry before I go to sleep, what I can do, I can make, what would I do? Sandwiches. 500 calories? With 500 calories left, I'd most likely do, a, yeah, two sandwiches. That's it. That'd be perfect. That was that was the macros for one sandwich, and that's how much I have left. I can do two sandwiches, or I can do one sandwich and two bags of protein chips. But I'd much rather do uh, two sandwiches, or I can do two protein cookies, which I don't want to, because thirty-eight grams of fat. How many? Fat? Yeah, I only got six, sixteen grams of fat left. I can do two protein cookies and two uh, cups of almond milk. You're better than me, Daquan. So Dave, a lot. No, it's not me being better than you. It's me being more disciplined than you. That's what it is. Not better than you, I'm more disciplined, which you could be too. Oh, is that, why would you say that, but then be in a relationship with one of them, bro? Wait, should be what? Oh yeah, oh my God, is that how she's built? You say that, but then be in a relationship with one of them, bro. So <laughs> nah, bro, yo. How y'all be getting the timing so right, bruh? <laughs> bruh, W timing, bro. W timing, bro. Yo, we need a whole compilation of these, bruh. Just shaved my nah. balls a few days ago. What are we on? Wh why did I need to know that? Yo, we need a compilation of all of the best. Yo, Halo hey Midas, thank you for that gifted too. We need a compilation of all of the best timings of nigga in here. Because when I tell you these joints be way too perfect, like, bro, how do you do that? But, yeah. Now, looking at her, you see what I mean? I can tell why she date white niggas. I can tell. Look at her. You got to be real here. This is one of them joints that if a nigga does date, it's like, I did it because I wanted to show y'all I love black women. You know what I'm saying? That's it. But this is definitely one of them joints that a white nigga going to have to take down with no problem. What black men did you say? What black did say? Why you say he can do it? He, oh, you think black manager gonna knock this down? Well, he said he couldn't. Nah, he definitely could. Michael McMillie says she definitely a smash and dash. See, look, like from the front, I'd be like, okay, like, but then she got the little front. like, is it? Oh, nah, I, I can't. I can't. Why is she built like? Because I know she stink. Thing. I don't. I know she stink. I know it does. <laughs> Give me a busted. I would. This nigga GKM said, hell, I would. No, it's. I know it stink, bro. This nigga, Brick Pickle, said this what my DMs look like for real. 
Bro, so you, so, 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 Brick Pickle, you the default white nigga. You like the white nigga that they go, you the, you the rebound white nigga that they trying to go to. As soon as they can't pull themselves a nigga. Like, yep, I have to pull it. You know what I'm saying? The best thing I could possibly get then. Let me go white. But I know man, it's that. That's so beautiful. That's so fucking I nice. I love that, man. Our I know it's that. boyfriend. Crusty, crusty ass, ass nigga, nigga, bro. God. That bleach demon you kissing. <laughs> the fuck? That's crazy, though. Who the fuck are you? Huh? <laughs> hey, okay. Y'all, man, look, bro. You know we can't continue without asking. All right, DSG, look, we got to keep it a band, bro. Look, because I, look, you know what I'm saying? Look, because, like, you know what I'm saying? Then Halo might have said, this is a nightcrawler. You know what I'm saying? Like, keep it a band. Just keep it a thousand. What we on? What, what would y'all do? You know what I'm saying? Don't lie. Don't lie. <laughs> y'all niggas, bro, y'all are way too horny. I did not think that many of y'all niggas would actually do say yes. Like, y'all really just, y'all don't care. I'm busting that shit down. Yo. Yeah, I hit that. I'll take one for the team. Nightcrawler. I'm desperate at this point. Yo. Back shots must still cr smell crazy. If it don't stink, I don't want it. Wow. With a paper bag, maybe. I'm gonna make it her baby mama. Yo, y'all. Yo, y'all. Why? If I'm drunk, yes. Yo. We gotta stop being this horny, y'all. I'm not an inner. Look. I'm breaking in half. Yo, we gotta stop being this horny, bro. I get the slope. Nigga said, I don't dabble in the dark. Oh, not, like, it, she just looked like she stinks. I'm not gonna hold you. Man, that's so beautiful. <laughs> that's so fucking I nice. Love that, man. Our stinky ass boyfriend. Nigga said, alcohol, bro. Alcohol. Anything is possible. Nigga said, nah, not Lupe Fiasco. <laughs> The nigga called the Lupe Fiasco. Yo, hey yo, buddy, where are y'all niggas coming with this shit, bro? The nigga said, nah, nah, Lupe Fiasco. Bruh, what the fuck? Yo, where are y'all niggas coming with this shit, dog? Yes, nigga, nigga, bro. Nigga, Lupe uh, Fiasco. Yeah. demon, you kissing. <laughs> the fuck? Nigga, Lupe Fiasco, bro. Who the fuck are you? Oh, huh? my God. <laughs> nigga, Lupe Fiasco. You ass nigga, bro. Hey, bro, first of all. You one of the weakest links. That nah, that ass. Did you not see Lupe Fiasco in that dress? Nah, nah, nah. I, didn't, I don't think I did. I probably did a few years ago. Or something I don't know. The, it all depends. The, the boyfriend. You don't respect yeah, something oh, at all. Oh, no, no, my no, nigga no. DSG Bade with the gifted. Thank you, bro. Imagine if your girl was saying like, oh, like just fucking black people, man. Just and she was, if she was any other race. Violate. She's basically saying you're evil, nigga. Your parents are evil. You like. No, I can't even say it because I know King Nato is definitely going to say he would regardless. King Nato, if, if if you had a... Cause I, I don't want to ask you because you're going to say yes regardless. If you had a girl and a white girl, because you know she's going to be white, King Nato keep it a thousand, and you saw a video of her like in a... With, this thing in the news can't even give me a chance to finish before saying he would. It, you know what I'm saying? But if you... You know what I'm saying? Caught her on video. She doing a stream with Nick Fuentes and... They just wilding out on black people. We got ain't even here right now. Tate interview. The new Tate interview. There's a new one. I didn't know there was a new one. Grandfather's evil. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Hey, my nigga Bane with the get with another gifted. Thank you, bro. Evil, you I thought he'd have been here. All these racial slurs. Boom, nigga. But let me love you and yeah, cherish you. you. I'm going to love you, though. I'm going to make sure you different, love you. You're different, though. You're definitely different. This I don't is know. insane to me. Bro, I don't know why black people feel as if, like, they can't, like, they don't fit under the umbrella of, like, saying racism or being racist or anything like that. They, can, they don't call it racist no more. They I was about to say, why does things say racism? Change the definition. Prejudice, bro. I was prejudiced, that's, yeah. That's the word you're thinking. I'm not racist, right, nigga. Bro. I'm just prejudiced. Bro. Prejudice, bro. You Get just, it right. Come on. Come on. Hey, the real oh. Bojangle with the gifted. Thank you, bro. Yeah, accurate, bro. Yo, right. I'm nigga, I'm tripping. Hold on. I'm tripping. Nigga, W's in the chat. We had another sub goal. I don't know why Twitch isn't updating it. Nigga, W's in the chat, bro. Another sub goal. Bruh. It's saying 1450. You clearly see the subs up there. Move. What the fuck? There it is. Right there. W's in the chat, bro. I didn't even know that. Thank y'all. 
Hey, y'all, I appreciate y'all so much. Thank y'all. I don't know why Twitch doesn't update it. Why does it, why does it do that at times? Why are they trying to change all these different words and terms in the UK? I think they just changed the term vagina to boner hole. There's no way that's real. There's no way that's real. There's no way that's real. You know them definitions change, right? Exactly. Keep See, up. Me is being... V nigga, boner hole? No. Black, I have no power, <laughs> so I can't be racist. It's this. impossible, man. Impossible, it's man. Impossible. I got no power, bro. Zero. Zero I feel, power. I hate when they say black people can't be racist because they acting like I don't exist. Like, I really hate when they do that. I'm a powerless nigga. <laughs> they be really acting like I'm not right here. So I can't be racist, bro. Impossible. I can sure be prejudiced, though. You're going to see and see all that about white people and then date a white man. And I agree, bro. As a I got to tweet that right now, then. I hate when they say black people can't be racist. Nigga, I am right here. No, nah, 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 actually, I don't feel like going viral. I don't, I don't even feel like it. I don't feel like I don't feel like some bullshit happening. Never mind. So as a white man... <laughs> Clementine said they've never been to a DSG stream. Facts. So, bro, how do you go to sleep at night nah, next to her, bro? Dead ass, dead ass. She like, hates you. Like, imagine this nigga was in the shower while she was recording that, and this nigga just overhears her saying, like, bleach demon. That. Black people can't be racist. Do you want me to give you an example? Because I can def... No, I'm joking. Hey, chill, chill, chill. All the mortals, chill out. But, yo, this nigga low, bro. Like no bullshit. If Lil wasn't a YouTube, if I looked at this, I definitely would think he homeless. I would be like, yo, how do you eat that much? You know what I'm saying? You homeless, but I would look at this thing and definitely think he homeless. If I looked like look at this thumb shot. I mean this this this, this look at this, the look screenshot. Clan rally. Chill, 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 chill. I would definitely think Lil was homeless. <laughs> yo, if you know people like this, like toss them away, nigga. These are toxic people. Yo, brain like, brawler, chill, chill, chill. And Brian Brawler said, I could definitely show y'all some racism. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out, bro. Don't want happiness. I swear they revel. Black in Ninja, the what the hell are you talking about, bro? Misery. They don't want peace or positivity. If you want a nice, beautiful life that's full of happy things, then you can't. You gotta get a white woman. Is, is that what you're gonna say? You can't be around people like this. Cause oh, never mind. My bad, my bad that for themselves i right, swear to god that. they don't they i thought he's gonna say my bad, my bad like systemic racism and think like damn how can we how my can bad. we help improve the situation all they do is complain and i thought he's gonna say that. my bad they don't take action they don't uplift shit all they do is sit there and fucking complain on social media and take more sociology courses these niggas are literally useless and no funny shit without you. this you don't need to send me a link about the boner hole thing you don't need to send me that um i'm fine that's not something i even uh you know want to want to you know look at so you can keep that to yourself um you know congrats for finding out what a boner hole is I'm trying to be too rude if they didn't exist we wouldn't be missing much but there are people in this this thing is shadow restricts that i wonder if he calls it a word during sex you know he does you know they do race play planet of color that if we did lose them the world will have a huge loss it would be a huge loss because they actually go out their way to do important things for their communities and for all different types of communities do you, do you These think a lot of you think a lot of those people especially because they're more like left-leaning and liberal do you think they are okay with giving up some of their like political power just to get off like complaints on the internet like for like internet points they care more about what they do on the internet or just like visibly rather than actually voting some of the things i've seen liberals do is crazy that, but that's what i'm saying they, they, they so stupid about that. Yeah. yeah they don't do anything useful they yeah. wouldn't build a business that hires black people they wouldn't like they don't do nothing they don't offer money support time charity they just exist and the only i love my people i love them but if I got a business, I ain't gonna hire too many of them. Like, I, look, I'm willing to hire. I'm willing to hire some. But ain't gonna be that many. Cause if I walk in a place with too many niggas, I'm out. You know what I'm saying? I know the service ain't going. They, they, they ain't gonna be that great. And it's it's not the fact of like, you know what I'm saying? Cause they it is cause they black. It's it, but it's not like that though. Cause I ain't black. But y'all y'all know it though. Y'all get it though. It's like yo, you know what I'm y'all know it. Y'all know it, bro. Y'all just think black just said that's why I got hired. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. It's real. Like, look, 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 right? 
Okay. Have y'all ever been to Crystal's? Have y'all ever been to Crystal in, in Memphis, Tennessee? Have y'all ever been to Crystal in Tennessee? In Memphis, Tennessee? Has anybody ever been to Crystal in Memphis, Tennessee? I want to see if anybody else in here has been to Crystal in Memphis, Tennessee. Yes, I see. Roddy Roddy Brick Burley said that shit black as hell. Crystal is the burger place. It's like White Castle, but it's for the South, I guess. The club, no, it's like a bur it's a burger spot where they have small joints. Okay, space uh space spade. I mean, you know, yeah, spade uh spade space. You have okay. Who else? Never forgot. I forgot about that. Heard they was uh it was ass. No, no bad part. I see, see, but not that part. Okay. Well, look, okay, Halo Midas, you have, uh, okay, Bacon Century, you have, Crystal is trash, Crystal's be hitting, see, we black, we, we go on with say Crystal's, all right, so look, Crystal's is good, I'm not gonna hold you, but there's never been a time I went to Crystal's and got good service, food always fresh and good, I'm not gonna act like it's not, but nigga, the line is terrible, nigga, when you get up there, they don't even acknowledge you, you gotta say something to them. They going you could, nigga, they will let you sit there. You pull in a drive through they will let you sit there at the window until you say something. You got to sit, like, I was sitting there like this. I'm like, I'm waiting to hear, welcome to Crystal's, I'm going to help you. So I was waiting to hear something. After I'm like, hey, excuse me, y'all open? Yeah. And that's all I got was yeah. I said, okay. um, Y'all ready to take my order? Yeah. I was like, damn. See, Banks even said, facts, crystal workers don't give a fuck, uh, but your shit always right. Bruh, the food always fresh and it's always good and everything. But when I tell you that service is ass, garbage, trash, straight trash, but the food be hidden. But it's like, I want to go to a place where I get the best quality everything. You see what I'm saying? Be too many niggas in one spot. That's it. Small things they do do, they let make sure do the do. world knows. It's Facts, a sad, yeah. it's a sad world, bro, because they don't actually want to change. I ain't finna hide too many niggas. Look like nigga who ain't been to DTLR. Come on, like we gotta be real here, nigga who ain't been to DTLR. If I go to DSW, DSW is a huge ass store. If I go to DSW, I get a motherfucker. Hey, do you need any help, nigga? D, nigga DTLR, you gotta. Hey yo, like nigga. Every time I go to the DTLR, I am a straight up nigga. I walk in there and the first, hey, yo, that's exactly what I got to do, nigga. And I don't even give a fuck. I'll be straight up with, hey, yo, hey, y'all niggas ain't help, you ain't going to help nobody? I'll say it just like that because that's exactly how you got to do with them. They will sit there right next to you folding something, looking at you, looking at a pair of shoes like this, with it in your hand, looking around for somebody. The motherfuckers are looking but, and look right away from you. Help me. Is that what I need to have a fucking sign, like the little Kevin Hart shit? I need to have a the fucking video playing or something like that. Do I need to have a sign that says help me? The fuck help wanted, help needed. Do I need to have one of those signs or something? DTLR fucking sucks. The service sucks. Straight store, but the service is ass. And I ain't never go to a DTLR in my life that had anything other than black people. Like every DTLR went, like, it may have been one white person, possibly. Maybe been like two Spanish people, possibly. Not, not even on the same shift. It's like if I went there twice, so one Spanish, mostly black people. Nigga, this nigga who said it was it was me in there. Nah, bro, I'm, I'm serious, bro. This shit is crazy. Yeah, I thought they went out of business. Nah, they didn't. They just, I don't even know how they, I don't even know that. I don't even know their hiring process. Like with Chick-fil-A, you actually have to have, you you have to live up to their service. You'll get fired. But detail all this service is trash, bro. They care about changing. Demon Pan and Gang said, y'all getting on a cruise with a, with a cruise ship with a black captain? I get on a cruise ship. But but I ain't, get, I ain't getting on a flight with a black pilot. And I told, I love my people. I could do the cruise ship. You know what I'm saying? Because like, I'm going to get one of those escape boats if, the, if some Titanic type, type shit happen. Like, you got to fight me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm going to get on a boat. But like in the air, I nah, I'm, I'm dead. So I, I I can't put my my life in the hands of a nigga, like like that, like in the air, to, to where it's like instant death.
Like you gonna die. Like a guaranteed death. Certain death. I ain't gonna do it. And, and but I love my people though. Don't get it twisted. I really do love my people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Women and children first day quan. I Nigga, this is twenty twenty three. Nigga, it's gonna be bitches up there manlier than me already. Nigga, I'm finna walk my black ass right up there. Yeah, women and nigga, I'm a bitch. I'm gonna walk right up there just like that. Nigga, I'm a bitch. Fuck is you talking about? What? You best to respect my motherfucking pronouns and let me get on this goddamn ship, nigga. What's wrong with you? We in 2023. They better respect it. What's wrong with these niggas, man? Exactly. It's about like they want to feel in their heart like they're morally better than people. Straight they get up, a nigga. kick out of believing that like, bitch, oh my nigga. God, look at all these morally corrupt people and like all these ancestors. Like, shut up. Stop. You can't hate all white people. You, you date a white person. Why she got a cat's ass in the air right here? See, I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all. They always have this look. Like, bro, it's either the, the really good looking dark skinned girls. I don't be seeing like light skinned girls with, with like white niggas that much. It's usually the, the really, really good looking dark skinned girls that look like models. Or it's either a dirty looking joint like this. She white on the inside. I think she's mentally deranged. Whoa. She's the, I on, didn't know like, that's what that was about to be. Listen, she don't belong in a mental institute. Hold on, institute. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, a mental institute. Got a white boy on my roster. He be feeding me pasta and lobster. So this is her whole thing. Just to say she's... Man, I hate what clout does to people, bro. Like, bro, because she's going to keep getting followers and all his attention just because... She made that video and she has a white boyfriend. And now she's harping on it. She's just going to keep keep at it. Because that's the only thing she gets. That's the only way she can get the attention. It's crazy. This is what Clout does to people. It's crazy. Oh, I just, I just can't man. Know. It's crazy Yo, what Clout does to people. The boyfriend is insane. Shit, Doja Cat type joint. Yo, the thing that I... The only reason why... The only thing I don't like about Doja Cat is like... The whole... Using black people shit. It's like... Like you, like she really do use the fuck out of black people, like in all in her features and shit like that, and and then you know what I'm saying you know you don't fuck with white, you don't fuck with black people, like you don't fuck with black dudes. Cause look, the thing is, and y'all, yo, who remember that one Twitter space with that one girl? Yo, they be looking down on black men. They love and will uplift black women, but they act like black men are a different race or ethnicity than they are. Y'all remember that one Twitter space, that one girl, when she kept saying her Korean man, and then she kept saying niggas for black dudes. And I was like, yo, why you keep calling black men niggas? Why can't you call them black men? Because they're niggas. And I was like, so what about black women? They ain't bitches? Though, something about me and queens or whatever bullshit it was. And I was like, damn, that's crazy. I was like, you really look down on black men. I was like, you, did you not notice the way you, you've been talking about black men this whole time? You keep calling us niggas nonstop and keep downing us and niggas ain't shit and niggas this and that. And then with your Korean boyfriend, you are doing nothing but saying how much of a man he is. And you have yet to call him a nigga or, any, or anything out of his name. It's only been my man, my Korean man, even when it came to white men, men, men. Yeah, ADTV. Now nah, she kept saying, uh, uh, call him a Filipino man. Exactly. But when it came down to black men, it was nothing but niggas. That shit was crazy. Yeah, he's insane. Come on, you see he's an insane nigga. Like, do you not have standards, nigga? He's an insane. You see her post? Go back, nigga. Go back to that video. You're not standards. Of course he don't. He's he desperate. Yo, this? What world are we living in? He, he got know. a little bit of pussy he can stick with. What know. world are we living in? Why do you get to call them evil and then associate with them? Fuck association, nigga. You're in love with them. That's the difference between you and I, isn't it? <sighs> God. So she's really just going to keep going with this. Like, that's what I mean. I hate. Look at her. This is disgusting. Like. This is disgusting. This is what I mean. You severely need a... What nigga is getting with this? Like, you gotta be one of them weird anime niggas. You gotta be one of them weird-ass anime niggas that's going... That's knocking us down. If you black. If you a black nigga, them white niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, them dirty-type, hippie-type niggas. But it's like a weird anime-type nigga that'll probably... I, I, I can see that. 
Oh, I know the pronouns there. Others' validation to exist. Will I thrive off man? This, but is, you're this yeah. is so ironic, Marcel. That's guaranteed. This is so ironic. This is so, yo. She did say she didn't need white people validation, but she's dating a white person. Like, you don't, bro. Oh my God. I don't think, <laughs> I don't think she. I don't think she not them anime niggas fucking Japanese girls. What anime niggas you know fucking Japanese girls? What anime niggas you know out there really getting pussy like that? I don't. I don't. I'm talking about anime niggas, like the weird ones. I'm not. I'm not she, talking about niggas who watch anime. There's a difference between niggas who watch anime and anime niggas. I'm talking about those anime niggas. Anime niggas are the ones inviting bitches to their crib, saying, "Yo, you want to see my manga collection?" And actually try to read off chapters to these bitches and just drive their pussy the whole time. They don't even understand the pussy just drying up as they read. On and on. She she understands. Yes, Michael Mc, McMillie, the power scaling niggas. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what's your favorite anime? Sailor Moon. Goku could beat Sailor Moon. And, uh, them niggas. One on one. Hey. So I took a little break, turned off my comments, went on a little hiatus just because the comments were getting ugly. Um, like you. And it's my phone, so I don't have to see anything I don't want to. You know what I mean? We love. I'll, the I'll give her that. That's true. Block button. That's a fact. We love the delete block button. We love a comment filter section. We love limited comments. We love them. Do what you need to keep yourself safe. Um, a lot of these people. Your shadow restrict. I feel you, bro. Isn't it fascinating? The, the instinct is to censor everyone's opinion. Even though her opinion was white people are bleach demons and they stinky. But she ass. she gets bleach to say demons. that on TikTok. Yeah, she gets to say that. It doesn't yeah. get taken down. By no, way. it doesn't. I know. Which, which is insane because wow. TikTok be taking down everything. Yeah. So that's cool. That's nigga TikTok be killing my videos, bro. But then when a nigga criticizes her dumbass take. Like, turning your phone off is valid. Honestly, like... If, no, no, if, for sure. But, like, like, it's valid. But she should have turned off her phone before she made that post. <laughs> That's what she should have did. But limiting the comments and then bragging about, like, how fun it is to limit comments, you can't pretend like it doesn't get to you and also limit comments. These two things, it's impossible to happen at the same time. You it, it, it does get to her, obviously. See, the thing is, she wasn't a creator. She was just a regular person on TikTok and doing this shit. Bro, a lot of people don't understand. Most people cannot take the criticism and scrutiny that most of us content creators go through or anybody online celebrities whatever most people cannot take that shit you see what happens with people on twitter every time they getting packed up what happens first you go to their page what does it say something wrong or what do you see deleted tweet or their page go private he looked nothing like me right your boss shut the hell up that nigga low look nothing like me but yeah that's what you always see all of the time why because people can't take the heat you know how hard it is to nigga if I didn't have my notifications off on Twitter, bruh, I'd be arguing with niggas left and right probably. Yeah, yeah, Black Manager, they'd be muting the tweets, everything. Why? Because they can't take the heat. I just got my notifications off because there's no point. I literally post shit and then let people argue. People don't even understand when I'm trolling. Like, I'm posting on my page. Whenever I troll, you don't have to respond. It's just that simple. Then guess what? My trolling didn't work. But it always works because people feel so the dire need to respond to the things that I say. Doesn't matter what it is. Earlier today I was trolling. What did I say about my baby mom? You no, know, I said uh, I said my ex. What did I say? Motherfuckers keep telling me to. Uh, oh, no. What did I say? I said I I hate having a petty ex. Where's the N word? Yo, <laughs> yo, really? Yo, lovely lady, thinking for the prime four months. I said, I hate having a petty ex. I kept waking up sweaty because it was hot in my house. I checked my security cameras. Tell me why this bitch keeps coming into my house in the middle of the night and turning my thermostat off and she won't give me my house key back. First of all, you don't think I'm going to notice if my thermostat is off the first night? What do you mean keep coming to my house? You don't think I'm going to notice that? You don't think I get a restraining order? You don't think I'm going to change my locks immediately? You don't have to. You don't have to respond to it. You don't have to. Yeah, I know there's plenty of times. that it's plenty of times that happened, Banks. They, that happens so many times, it don't make sense. They always on me. They always call me a misogynist and shit like that. But yeah. Like, and, and then the fat bitch going to say, niggas on, Twitter niggas are so annoying. So of course, you know, I had to tell her to shut her fat ass up. You already know that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, man. Like, but a lot of people can't handle what we handle. Like I said, it's consecrators and shit like that. Or just, you know what I'm saying? Influencers, things like that. Public figures. People can't handle that shit. Big black gorilla. So your first time chatting here, you just, you followed me 17 seconds ago. Your first time chatting, you say big black gorilla balls. What? Like, bro, you created your account three minutes ago. So you, you definitely are a troll. You came in here just to troll me. Why? You don't have anything better to do. See, the thing is, look, look at you taking that time to make that account and everything. You don't think you could have put that time into yourself 
and have gotten a bitch. You don't think you could have done that? You could have put that time in yourself and have gotten a woman. You could have put that time in yourself and improved on yourself. You could have put that time into yourself and did something other than trolling. Yet here you are making a whole different account just so you can troll and say big black gorilla balls. That's what I mean about niggas need to get offline. You have to get offline. You have to. There's no way you thought to yourself, this is this is going to be my Monday night at 1030. I have to make a whole account just to come in someone's chat to say big black gorilla balls. I'm not going to ban them. What do I need to ban them for? It's just, it's just hilarious. Like, that's what you really thought to do. Like, it's crazy. You limit the comments because it is getting to you. And which is okay to admit. But the problem is that they don't want to look vulnerable. So they pretend like they're this indestructible being. That it is usually women. It's usually women. You know that. What do women always say? I want to see. What, what do women always say? Every time they get packed up, they're what? They're what? What is their famous term that they always say? They're what? They're what? Let's see it. Let's see if y'all know it. They're what? Thank you, Clementine. Unbothered. That's all these bitches. Oh, this thing in New York said independent. What the fuck are you talking about? Nah, they always say they're unbothered. And they be bothered as hell. Like, bitch, if you was, if you was unbothered, you wouldn't have to say it. Do you see me going on Twitter saying, I don't give a fuck nonstop about every person's tweet, every person's reply to me? No. You even see me saying that on a daily basis? Do you see me, do you see me saying it on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, anything? No. Because I genuinely don't give a fuck. These bitches all the time, oh, I'm unbothered. An unbothered bitch ain't got to tell you she unbothered. It doesn't, like, get phased by anything. You're phased by the comments. You don't like the fact that not everybody likes you. The reality is your take is so horrendous, it's easy to not like you. Like, she gets how many views? She gets a few thousand views. The fact that she has to limit her comments means that just nobody likes what she's saying. I know. What that is true. She's only getting a few thousand. I thought she was, like, going, well, she, she went viral on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? I know that. But I didn't know that. She didn't go viral on TikTok. Who, where is the audience that enjoys this content? I think a lot of people. Roddy, 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 you said, uh, I tell you on stream. I tell you on stream so we can so we can have fun and cook these motherfuckers on Twitter for the most part. But other than that, I, I, like, I've turned my notifications off. I don't check them unless people tell me to check something specifically for them. We're just dunking on it on there. We're like, all right, let me, let, let's follow yes, up. Let's, let's do a bunch of follow She doesn't have five views. Yeah, I know. There's a few thousand people dunking on her. But the thing is, I, again, this is, I just understand this. Why do you feel, because like if, if I'm on the internet trolling, I know I have to just accept the fact that the trolls are going to follow up behind it. I can't control that. Yeah. Well, are convinced that they're genuine when they aren't. So they're asking these questions being like, you're with a white man and you don't like white people da, 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 da. and it's you like okay but man. like if you ask me a genuine question i will answer but it seems like if it's coming from a vicious place i won't answer you are with a white man if someone said why are you talking shit about white men i mean white people why are you insulting white people if you're with a white man that's a valid question when you've gotten online and insulted white people while dating a white man it's a valid question now, all of this is happening because of a video I posted in 2021. Do I stand by everything I said? Yes. If I would make the video today on the same topic, would I phrase it the same way? No, but that's just because I've expanded my vocabulary and I've found new communication. You expanded your vocabulary in a day? What the fuck? Styles that work better than previous ones, in you know what I mean? But also along with that, I also just think the people that are meant to get it, get it. And the people that aren't, aren't. You know what I mean? Um, I people that's meant we to get it. generalizations in 2021 when the whole ACAB situation happened. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't matter if your uncle cop is a good person. He's a part of a system that's inherently evil. The same could be said for any demographics of privilege. Men. But then you know, go you're... for white. There she go. Men. Lord, oh, men. People like this, they just play the oppressed Olympics. And as long as they are at near the top, the higher you are, the more you can complain and the less you can like not even That's act crazy. as if like you're part of But I just hate in. the fact that she gets to pretend like she's the victim of an oppressive system, which in reality, all things are relative. Yes. Of course, mm -hmm. I get treated very unfairly by the police here. And it's not, it's objective. I got sent to jail for something I didn't do. And they didn't give me no opportunity to explain myself. It was. I, I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know that happened, Angel. I know he got a mugshot, but I didn't know what he did. It's all fraudulent over a clerical error. Of course, I experienced it firsthand. But the point is, there are. It is just is mind blowing to me how she doesn't have no perspective because she's so in her head about her own experience. That nigga Clement, I said, Agent, you white enough. That's what, like, bruh. Like, even like, I only. I think Lowe, He might get treated a little different, but they might think like you know what I'm saying. He like he like Carl Winslow or something, so they might treat him like one of them. Me? Oh hell no. 
And nigga, me, Duke, Kai, yeah, we getting treated terribly. We dark skinned, tatted up niggas, we are getting treated terribly like thugs. You are the beneficiary. If you live in a first world country, you are the beneficiary of very oppressive systems. There are plenty of countries that have the resources, the everything to have wealth. But in all reality, it's because Asian, of the way Ethiopian, the I don't know. were drawn up by some of these Western countries, they will never see peace. They will never see prosperity. Because of all the meddling countries like America do in their countries, they will never see peace. It will always be war. It will always be corruption. Because that is what it, like, it is, it's like that by design. But, like, I have respect for the niggas that, like, use this, use, use oppressive systems and try and find a way to give back. Okay? I highly doubt she falls under that She bro. doesn't, though. But I know she doesn't. There's zero percent chance, bro. She's sitting here complaining on TikTok all niggas evil and a whole bunch of other shit. Yeah. Also, you can't say that the niggas that get it, get it, and the niggas that don't get it, get <laughs> it, and you change your communication style. If there's an uh, overwhelming amount of people that don't get it, you just suck at communicating. Also, if you said that Very you, true. you would update your lo your language, that means that there, there would clearly be a bunch of people who didn't understand it because- I, I would think if you're gonna update your language, then you would apologize for what you what you said before. Language Her sucks. just bothers me, bro. But this this is the product when you only really yeah. taught one perspective, I know, I know, yeah. and it's like there's so many ways to think about the same. Th no, this is the product. You, do you think she would be saying this if she didn't if she didn't already secure her own white man? No, because she'd still be trying to look for one. But the thing is, this is the product of being able to just say what you want and still get men of any race. Because you saw many niggas in here still say they would hit it, and it was niggas black niggas then it was plenty of niggas in general i'm talking about spanish i don't nigga was spanish white everything in it plenty of niggas said they would hit why of course she's gonna say whatever she want you don't see niggas getting on here saying shit like that and if they do they they uh usually sell juniors because like of course they're gonna get away with shit like that they don't really care because it's like bro i ain't getting it anyways thing and it, you could pick one and because she has some ass but you should also know there's other ways terrible. to think you feel me there's something and this slide concludes my presentation on why I hate desperate men. Uh, like, terribly, bro. If my girl, put it like this, if I'm dating a white girl, because my man's in New Mexico, he was dating a white girl, a crazy white girl. Send Nike, don't know, that's your first time chat. Let me see how long you've been following, because you said a uh, cell junior. Oh, bro, you've been following since May, you don't know what a cell junior is? That's crazy. But, um, yeah, and it's not cell, S-E-L-L, C-E-L-L. -L. But uh, juniors, yeah. If you don't know it, you just don't know it. I, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Fuck. Now you made me fuck up. Things that are objectively true. The world is fucking round, nigga. It's a sphere. Like if you think it's flat, there's just way too much. There's way too much evidence I to talk to the right person. <laughs> I don't know, nigga. There's I see bad joints all day. It just motivate me uh to run my bread up and hit the gym. That's how I should be, Rez. Yo, yo, I'm Rez Job. That's how I should be. Every man, whenever you see a bad joint, you should know. Definitely, if you if you ain't up there already, if you already up there, you, yeah, go get that. Other than that, bad, beautiful women should always motivate you to get that bread. Always. Oh, there we go, Jay Dizzle. I was in New Mexico. My man's his girl, white girl. She called him all types of niggas. Turned to me, said it, and I said, I ain't gonna be too many of these niggas. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm not him. Don't even play with me like that. Shut that shit down immediately. Whenever he was, whenever they was done with this argument, he never spoke to her again. Kicked her ass out the house and everything like that. Never spoke to her again. That was her right there, my nigga. Yo, Vlad Place, thank you for that gifted. That was her all day, bro. Not all day. She just got in that argument. That's the first time I ever seen her call him a nigga. But he ain't talked to her again. Let me have a girl and she calling me a nigga. I dated my that Italian girl over there in um in Italy. If she was, oh, I don't like black people. They this and that. Bro, I wouldn't fuck with her. If she online talking about black people, if a girl's online talking shit about black people, what I look, I don't care what race you are. If you black, if you a black woman and you online talking shit about black men without statistics and shit and facts, if you just saying we all criminals and some shit, what? Then I'm done. Like, what the fuck? I'm not that desperate to be with a bitch. Wait, but the, but most things, especially, especially the ideological things, but like, that's that's why I got tight when I was in uni, dog, because I went to one sociology class, and they make you feel like by learning that you're becoming a better person. White woman saying nigga is crazy, Mr. Blaze, she was saying hard R at that.
them because you're caring more about things that are wrong with society. Mm-hmm. But in all reality, they don't give you no tools to actually improve those things, but they also don't tell you this is one frame of thought. And on my life, if you take enough of those classes, you become this victim. This, this is the level three Charizard evolution. <laughs> level three uh, Charizard. Victim, yeah, yeah she's a, she has I'll to have a me. master's in sociology. Skinny people, wealthy people, Christians, etc. Not all of them as individuals are evil. They are a part of a system that's evil and you have to actively work against it in order to be a decent person, a part of that system. So clarification there, disliking whiteness, hating whiteness is not the same as disliking white people, especially on an individual, individualistic level. Another clarification, being pro-black does not mean anti-white. Another clarification, just because I'm with someone who socializes- Can you just shut the fuck up? Like that- Perceived as a white man right now does not mean- Did this bitch just say- Did this bitch just say perceived as a white man? Like, cause I I, I did put brick pickle number in my phone and, and I ain't I ain't perceived that nigga as a white nigga at first. Did she just say perceived as a white man? A part of that. That nigga is white. So, clarification there. Disliking whiteness. The fuck is she- whiteness The fuck is, is she talking about? Disliking white people. Especially on an individual, individual. That nigga about white as hell. Another clarification: being pro-black does not mean anti-white. Her mental gymnastics are the only exercises she's ever gotten in her life. Yeah, and Lord knows she exercised that like a motherfucker. Bro. Another clarification: just because I'm with someone who's socialized and perceived as a white man right now does not perceived. mean I chose him because he appears that way. Which means it's like the blades, really? I didn't do it in what spite of black men. Wait, wait, wait! Like, so, 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 did she say this nigga socialized and appeared? Wait, let me hear what she's saying. Fuck, bro. Let me hear what she's saying. I didn't, I didn't even say nothing. I, I know, but I just want to hear what she's saying. Play it back, nigga. What I know, I'm about to play it. From now on, I am calling desperate men enablers. These niggas What's aren't that? men. You didn't, n- nigga, you didn't know that already? I've been told y'all. The reason why these women act the way they do is because men are so goddamn desperate. Why do you think there's OnlyFans girls out there that would straight up say, I hate men. Do not talk to me. Only DM me on OnlyFans. And these niggas will go do exactly that. I saw an OnlyFans girl come across my timeline today. Saying, I need money. I got to get my car fixed. It's heavy. I know this is the nigga that DM'd her. I know it's the nigga that gave her that money. And I know she ain't getting a nigga nothing at all. I be seeing girls all the time. Buy my nudes. Nigga, I saw a girl that said, that it was a girl that commented on my shit earlier today. She said something about uh, she needed a foot massage. And then here's all these desperate ass niggas. I'll do it for you. I'll gladly do it for you. Oh my God, your feet are so perfect. I'd love to do it. And the nigga that she is letting massage her feet is the nigga that ignores her on a daily basis. Is the nigga that she can't even get to go do it. That's why she online asking niggas to do it. Because she can't get that nigga to do it. Niggas are so goddamn desperate. Get back, but fuck, hold on. Just because I'm with someone who socialized and perceived as a white man right now. Socialized and perceived. I chose him because he appears that. Flip flop, no feet. Mental gymnastics won't make me skeet. This shit is crazy. Maybe. Which means, like, I didn't do it in spite of black men. Like, it was never, oh, I'm with this man because I don't fuck with black men. Like, no, I've been romantic. She does not. I've, I don't think she's ever been with a black man. She's about to say, I've been with. I don't, nigga, no. No, yo, yo, Cap, yo, I don't even say Cap. I don't say Cap. I'm sorry, I can't do that. I'm gonna let y'all do it. Y'all, yo, Cap or not? She's going. She's about to say she's been with a black man. Like it was never. Oh, I'm with this man because I don't Tell me. with black men. Like no, I've been romantically and sexually involved with black men. Been rom- lying. This bitch lying. This bitch is lying. Ain't no way in hell she been with a black nigga. Hell no. Ain't no way in the hell. Nigga said anime black guys. I mean maybe, maybe one of them anime niggas. With the acne all over their face. Maybe one of them anime niggas with the acne all over their face, with the glasses that be stinking and shit like that. Maybe one of them niggas. Possibly. Possibly. Romantically and sexually involved with all genders and races, truly. Like, all genders and races. And honestly, like, I think as far as, like, connection goes, like, cultural understanding, black women are obviously always going to be, like, at the forefront of everything I do. Um, and that goes for romantically and sexually as well. But as far as, like, my personal life i don't see how that's involved in my morals like to an extent i do like if i was dating a white supremacist that'd be one thing but dating a white person doesn't matter if they're a decent enough person it really doesn't matter if they stand behind my morals it really doesn't matter and not it, it doesn't matter if you're not insulting their people that's when it doesn't matter if i got on here and i'm dating a white girl and i'm not insulting white people 
it's different. Say, for instance, if I get on here by your know, white people don't wash their legs, I'm a content creator. I'm a comedian. I know I, I know the race jokes and shit like that to say. You ain't going to catch me out there in public just saying like what you did. And I'm not a creator or a comedian. What I look and then you were serious. I could buy your white people don't be washing legs. You think I'm dead ass? I'm thinking that all white people don't wash their legs. I ain't going to hold you a lot of y'all white motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Get your legs, man. Stop playing. Buy your fucking ears, too. Motherfuckers just smell like mayonnaise and shit. But yeah, you ain't going to catch me just out there just trying to do that. And when I got a white girlfriend, why would I do that? Knowing that her family could see it, too. Hey, come on, bro. I'm not going to come on here and defend my partner and advocate for my partner and talk about how valuable they are because one, it's dangerous out here and people are scary. Um, and two, I don't think people deserve to know that side of him yet. You know, I also think some of y'all need to get a grip or get a hobby because the way people have been harassing me on every single social media is crazy. Harassing my partner as well, who literally has not done anything. Um, guilty by association. I, I would guess that, ew, I'm guessing they're harassing your partner to leave you. Yes. And obviously stands by what I say, so I get it. But also people have been sending stands me like, by cash what you request say. just to send me a hateful message because I turned off my comments and I've not been accepting DM A cash app request. Like, Please get a grip, y'all. Oh, I see what she's trying to say. It's just, it's just so fucking stupid. Jesus. <sighs> Bro, <clears throat> the thing I hate about black people sometimes is that they- Yo, chill out. Chill out, low. You know what I'm saying? I Because I hate most things. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. I love my people. I love being black too. I hate about black people sometimes is that they say these things, but if it was done to black people, y'all would be upset. So, furious, furious. Like, I understand what she's saying that she was making a generalization and she believes that white people are participant in some way in a, in a systemic um, racism or whatever it is that will impede other people's growth um, economically, et cetera, et cetera, in, in many ways, right? All right, so I, I get that. And so you're making a generalization, not necessarily an individual standpoint. However, if somebody, if somebody else. <laughs> Hey yo, Mr. JSG, thank you for that gifted. I made a generalization about black people in that Hey yo, Kami, especially you, you asked and you received some bounds to calling someone a bleach demon. Like I don't like I don't even understand how that even like crosses your mind. I just don't get it. Uh, maybe like bruh, y'all see the most I've I look, I've never thought of that. I have called, you know. You know I said it before. We ain't gonna say the word, but you know I said it before. What an elaborate way to say she runs into desperate niggas. People are scary. She found the least desperate of the desperados. Yeah. Not the least desperate. You mean the most desperate. But yeah. I, a bleach demon, I ain't never. I won't even think about that. When I think of white people, the only thing I think of to say other than white people is... <clears throat> but I ain't thinking of anything else. All of the extra words and shit, nobody type it. If you type it, you get banned. Anybody who types it, you get banned. Bro, this nigga device, bro, chill, chill, chill. This nigga device, let, bro, chill, bro, chill, dog. Chill, bro. This nigga device, bro. Hey, bro, you can get away with that one. But yeah, man, you feel me? That's the only thing I have. The unseasoned ones. The unseasoned ones. I don't even be doing that. If affording you some level of, like, like leeway because you were younger, you say you did it two, three years ago, maybe you were just speaking a little edgy, whatever. But like not understanding why people would find that very hypocritical you is like blowing my mind right now. You were running around calling white men bleach demons, white people bleach demons. I was about to say white people. You were acting as if like white people at large, like they do some of the most ridiculous things. And also let me say this to white people as well, bro. Bro, the white guilt thing is hilarious to me. As a black man, that is like the, that is by far black people's favorite punchline, man. White. I hate when people do that, man. Sorry for being white. Do not apologize for being white. Oh my God, I hate when they do that shit. Yo, Cause what black people- I'm sorry, I just don't know your struggle. Bitch, I ain't struggle. Do I look like I was a fucking slave? The fuck you mean you don't know my goddamn struggle? Hey, yeah, I may get profiled by the cops, but if I don't run into the motherfuckers, I'm straight. The fuck you mean? I hate when they apologize for being white, man. We can just say whatever the fuck we want to say to y'all niggas, and we know we can get away with it. Joy is fun. I got a I got a strike on YouTube because of white guilt. That is by far our favorite punchline, bro. The fact that she said that shit and it's on the internet, and this cuck ass white nigga sat there and is like, "You're my black queen." That is mind blowing to me, nigga. That and I and I know he be calling her a black queen. I know he do.
That is mind blowing. That's mine because there's no way that a white man will be able to say that on the internet about black people and then come back and say, "Oh, this, this was a general. That was a generalization. My not, communication man. style back yeah, then. It just grew yeah, like it, it, I changed. Bro. No way that y'all would ever in your right mind date a white man that would ever say a generalization to that severity about black women or black men or black people in general. No way you would. No way you would. So if your boyfriend had said something crazy about black people and told you, babe, that's just a generalization. Like, of course I don't think that about you. You're not going to believe that nigga. <laughs> so all our black queen. He could have got him a better joint, bro. He's out there. Let us know, man. Would y'all kiss up on Nick Fuentes, man? Would you kiss Donald Trump, man? Nick Fuentes. You, our, our new Nick Fuentes got twerked on by some black joints. Being queen. And kiss. Would kiss up on Donald Trump, huh? Y'all kiss up on Joe Biden, huh? How liberal do we got to go for you to start kissing on a white man? <laughs> Comment section below. And until next time, I'll see you all later. Man, that's crazy, bro. God, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. And Fuentes said, nigga, yeah, he did say it. Fuentes did say it. See, I don't, I, I don't want somebody like Nick Fuentes saying the N word, cause like it's like, bro, I know he looked down on me, like he does think that black people are less intelligent and all types of shit. I don't want somebody like him saying it. <clears throat> I'm cool with Brick Pickle saying it. I'm cool with Mortal saying it. Mortal ain't white. I'm cool with MMA fans saying it. You know what I'm saying? This nigga Brick Pickle said bet. <laughs> nah, but I, I'm cool with LCX saying it. You know what I'm saying? But it's just, bro. A nigga like Nick Fuentes, because I know damn well he really does not. I, I think he does like black people. He, no, I think he tolerates us. But I don't think that he's like, yo. I, I Like I said, I just think he looks down on black people. Thought Sweeper, you got it too. You got it too, bro. You can say it. Thought Sweeper, Thought Sweeper let that shit rip, bro. Let it rip, my nigga. Just say it. Uh, did he? He does like the salutes. ADTV. When I saw it's Luna Leaf's boyfriend, I knew then and there the amount of market value white men have. Who is who is she? Who is it's what the hell? Let me look up. Who the hell is that? Is that a uh, is that a TikTok girl or something or Instagram drink? It's Luna. What? Lunar. Oh. Who the fuck is this Lunar Liv? I wouldn't be surprised if the dude from the Pouty Ivid says it. The, oh, the Pouty Ivid? Oh, yeah. Man, you know that nigga let it. You know he be saying it. Oh, this is her. Okay. She got a white man? If she's Spanish, that, that don't shock me at all. That don't shock me at all. She's Spanish. Spanish girls love them a white man. What? Definitely Asians. Asian women love them a white man. Like I told y'all, bro, these girls know exactly, you know what I'm saying, who, who they want to date and shit like that, bro. You know that, bro. They know it. Bro, what they do is this. They, oh yeah, she definitely got a white man. Okay, yep, she definitely do got a white man. I'm looking at her Twitter right now. But um, yeah, man. They'll have um they'll have their babies with either the white or either the uh the 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 men of their own ethnicity. And they fuck black niggas. That's it. That's what thing like it's like, bro, I love being black, but it's like, damn, I know as a black man I'm mostly fetishized, like to where it's like girls just want to try me. And yeah, to try to see if a nigga got the BBC. All black guys. Well, I heard the rumor. Like, bro, have you even seen, have you seen those videos of girls, of, of dudes walking up to girls and asking shit like, oh, uh, what what do you prefer? And they'll say black men, and then, you know why. No, I don't know why. Why? Tell me. So, yeah, and then you know why. they Well, you know what they all have. How you mean, what do you mean we all have? All? How you know we all got it? How you know that? Yeah, that shit's crazy. Nigga, Joy Boy G said niggas. 
bro. Now nah, I'm just keeping it a band, bro. This shit crazy, bro. We all have records. Uh, see, I hate that I fit the stereotype for a lot of shit. Like as a nigga myself, I fit like damn near all the stereotypes. You know what I'm saying? I have a record, a criminal record. Um, I got two baby moms. One of them fat. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Um, I'm I'm not a thug anymore. Uh, I'm I'm still in my kids' lives. But if I could, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know. Y'all know. Tatted gang member. I'm not a gang member. I don't have a record. I'm too scared to get my cheeks took. Yo, not... So, I really wish I didn't have a criminal record. Like, if I could get it expunged, but... I think I should be able to get it expunged. 